Hello students, in the previous video we have seen what is meant by a block diagram, the components involved in the block diagram, certain rules that we have to follow during the block diagram reduction, those rules also we have seen in the previous video. We did a simple example of block diagram reduction. Using the rules we uh, reduce the block diagram and we have found the transfer function of the system. So in this video also we will be seeing two more examples where block diagram reduction will be done. So let's get into the session. So here is an example. So now we are going to reduce the given block diagram. So for convenience, uh, I am going to represent this point as uh, point 1, branching point 1 and this point as branching point 2 and this summer is given the name uh, 1 and this summer is given the name 2. So that it will be easy for me to explain while pushing this summer to the left right, I can say that second summer is pushed to the left or right. So for that purpose, we have given these points in names. So here is the output C of S and here is the input R of S. We have uh, three feedbacks H1, H2 and H3. You can see that from here a signal is tapped and it is given to the input. And from here second point you tap the signal from here and you give it through H2 as a, a feedback here. So this, this is one feedback loop with H1 negative feedback. And here again you have another and you can see here also you have a feedback. Now if you move this branching point towards the right of G3 then these two fellows can be clubbed together. That is uh, moving the uh, branching point towards the right or after this uh, block G3. When you do so, you know that uh, this wing has to be multiplied by 1 by G3 because you are skipping what? Uh, you are jumping this G3. So this branching point now is going to jump to this point. So when you jump G3, this wing has to be multiplied by 1 by G3. So that we can do and uh, if we go this way, then actually you can put the branching point at this point or here or here. That doesn't matter because uh, you can interchange the branching points or it is a, only a point. If a wire is connected here and if you are going to connect the, this wire to this point or this point or this point, that doesn't matter. Okay, so you can move this particular uh, branching point uh, uh, towards the right. After moving that, uh, G2 and G3 can, uh, G3 can be multiplied. You can see here, the branching point 2 was moved uh, and uh, these G2 and G3 was clubbed. And since this uh, branching point jumped G3, it is getting multiplied by 1 by G3. See, if you interchange these two branching points, you can do it. Okay, logically uh, you can put this branching point here or you can put this branching point at this point. That doesn't matter because from the single line you are tapping the outputs. Like this you tap output here towards here and you also tap the output towards H3. So if you, even you put this point here or, uh, or any, anywhere in this line that doesn't matter. It's correct actually. Now this branching point 1 I am going to move towards the right of this block G2, G3. So that if when I move this particular branching point towards the right that means I can place it here or here. So that this particular block there is a feedback block here that gets freed so that you can apply a loop reduction and make it into a single block. So that purpose I am going to move this branching point towards the right of G2, G3. When we move this branching point towards the right, so G2, G3 is skipped. So this particular branch has to be multiplied by 1 by G2 into G3. So you can see that here happening. Yeah. H1 into 1 by G2, G3 becomes H1 divided by G2 into G3. 
again the two blocks h2 and 1 by g3 clubbed together h2 by g3 so now you can see that uh, this loop is freed so this loop you can combine it into a single block in the front phase you have g2 g3 and h3 is the feedback that to negative feedback so obviously a single block will have the transfer function g2 g3 divided by 1 plus h3 into g2 g3 so that one uh, part you can do after doing that that block is in cascade with g1 so you can multiply it so that you get a single block here and you can also see that uh, these two are in parallel actually because same input goes to this h1 by g2 g3 and h2 by g3 so same input goes to these two fellows and their outputs are getting to a, uh, a summer point okay so what you can do is these two are parallel blocks so you can add it okay when when it gets into this particular summer it is actually uh, minus h1 by g2 g3 uh, plus minus of h2 by g3 so when you add these two you can just add these two components and you can give a negative sign so this is a uh, though it is in feedback but uh, you have same input to these two blocks and the outputs are getting into a summer so these two are parallel so you can see that all the steps that i have told you uh, we have performed so that now this has become a single block and those two uh, feedbacks which were in parallel were added now it becomes a single loop that means you can reduce it to a single uh, block by giving whatever is there here divided by 1 plus this fellow into uh, this uh, function okay so that is your uh, uh, rule for uh, reducing the feedback loop so once you do that you get the a single block and that will be the transfer function so you can see that here this is your transfer function c of s by r of s is equal to this function you can reduce it further so that you get it in a uh, only one single uh, numerator and one denominator This is another example. So where we have given uh, uh, here also there are uh, two feedbacks. Okay, this is not a feedback because the input is tabbed and it is G4 and it goes and adds here. Uh, feedback should be from output to input. Then only you call it as feedback. You can see that the arrow mark indicate that this is a feedback. Here also the output is tapped from one point and it is given to the input. Whereas this is not a, a feedback. Actually this is here. Uh, from here you are, you are tapping and then it goes to G4 and it gets added here. So he, this cannot be taken as uh, a feedback. Feedback should be something from output side to the input side. So looking at this block diagram what I can do is I can move this branching point from here to this point okay either here or here okay so if i move this branching point to uh, to the left of g2 then uh, this g2 g3 becomes free and this becomes uh, a parallel so g2 g3 will be in parallel with g4 so that's why i'm going to move this particular point towards the left of g2 when you move a branching point towards left or ahead of g2 then you have got to multiply whatever you skip here am i right this branch is what is skipping so here jumper means that there is no connection between this line and this line so when you skip this h1 has to be multiplied with g2 when you move this branching point here these two fellows are free now they can be cascaded and this g2 and g3 will be in parallel with g4 because this uh, this fellow and this g4 gets the input from the same point and they get added here so this i can combine this block so that's why i'm going to move this uh, and students should remember that uh, this is not the only way you do so suppose somebody else wants to move uh, some other summer like this summer uh, towards the left or this summer towards the right and then do the reduction they can do it there is no single way of doing it only thing is the rules has to be followed correctly
so this dotted line indicates that I am going to move this branching point towards the left. After moving that particular point, the correction has been made. The corresponding correction is uh, we have jumped G2. So this wing is multiplied by G2. And as I said, these two fellows are free to get cascaded. And this G2, G3 will be in parallel with G4. So entire block, this entire block can be replaced with single block. G2, G3 plus G4. And these two fellows are in cascade. So it is uh, H1 into G2. So after doing all the things uh, that I said, you will get a block diagram like this. Now we will plan to move this somewhere to this point. Okay. So that, uh, see there are two loops. Okay. There are two loops uh, which are not meeting, but uh, one on the other they are. So when I move this summing point to here, after that, you know that two summing points can be interchanged. So by interchanging, I can uh, make some loops free so that I can reduce it. So uh, I'm going to move this summing point towards the left of G1, ahead of G1. So you can see that this summing point was uh, moved and uh, the, the corresponding correction has to be made in that wing. See, listen, here it is. This was moved, am I right? This particular summer was moved ahead. So this particular point has to be multiplied by uh, 1 by uh, G1. So it, do you see this 1 by uh, G1 multiplied by 1 by G1. Now I can interchange these two summing points so that this loop will come within. So this loop, there is a loop here, am I right? When I interchange, bring this uh, summing point here and this summing point outside, then this loop will get freed. Okay, so that's why this can be done. Interchanging of summing points can be uh, done. According to the rules, interchanging of summing points can be done. So I am going to interchange these two summing points now. And also these two are branching points. If I draw a line like this branching point for H2 and take another branching point from here and connect it, uh, it's going to be the same. Okay, so uh, like this, I can take one point because from the same point, two things go. One line is to H2, another line goes to with unity feedback. There is no component here, which means that it is a unity feedback. There is no H1, there is no H2, that is simply uh, output is fed to the input this line this kind of feedback is called as unity feedback okay so in the next slide you will be able to see the changes that we made that is uh, interchanging of the summing points and splitting these two as i said you can see that this loop came within the uh, the bigger loop so because of i interchanged uh, the two summing points the two summing points can be interchanged without any uh, compensation. It can be interchanged. So I have interchanged the two summing points. You can see that now this loop has come within the bigger loop. So once you can, uh, reduce, this is a small feedback loop. You know how to reduce it. After reducing it, you can multiply it with uh, uh, this block. And then you have a, a feedback loop here. You can multiply these two. And this is one loop and again you have another feedback with unity. So uh, reducing all these things you will get the transfer function. So in this uh, it will be in this if you reduce this block it will be G1 divided by 1 plus G1 into H1 into G2. After getting a single block you can multiply it with G2, G3 plus G4. So as I said, after multiplying, you get this and now you have a feedback with H2 G1 and a unity feedback. So first you have to reduce this and then get one single block. Again, you have to reduce the entire block by using the uh, unity feedback. When you reduce this uh, block, you get a function like this. That is this entire uh, function divided by 1 plus h2 into g1 into this function. So you can reduce it so that you get a 
a function like this. So finally, there is only a single unity feedback. That means here you should take it as 1. So when you reduce it, it should be this function divided by 1 plus 1 into this function. So you can see here 1 plus this function into 1. That means if uh, there is no uh, feedback element here, you should take it as 1. It's called as unity feedback. So now you have obtained the transfer function. This is how you apply the uh, uh, rules to obtain the transfer function. I will post a few more uh, uh, problems so that students can uh, practice on that. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, uh, let me clear it in doubt clearing session. Thank you.